All right, what's good with it, fellas? We got a quick little check-in for my goal of training to deadlift 880. Not the session I wanted, but definitely the session I expected, given that we went a little ahead of schedule last week, uh, had to cram our schedule together a little bit, came into this one feeling fatigued. Uh, I was hopeful because I was pretty thorough with everything to get ready for the session that I could kind of beat what the paper was telling me. I could not beat what the paper was telling me. Ignore the beeping. Uh, that is my camera turning off. But I definitely knew I was going to have to... Uh, take a down week this week when I was doing my kind of, I break my coaching up and whatever, who cares, but I do my coaching in different blocks through the day with meals in between and uh, going on walks and other chores I have to do to maintain our property and whatnot. I was doing my first uh, kind of block out of coaching and I went up to get up out of my chair afterward and I could feel my legs straining to stand up. They're still carrying some fatigue from my main squat day. And I was like, ah, fuck, <laughs> that is not a good sign. Definitely something that you pick up on. Um, the longer you lift, you have little things you look for, whether your appetite is suppressed, whether your sleep quality goes down, uh, to kind of gauge where you're at in terms of fatigue. Almost every person I know, whether I coach or I'm friends with them who's really, really strong, feels fatigued all the time. So this idea uh, that you're going to get wicked strong and not feel like fatigued uh, is kind of following you around definitely could be a bit of a myth and I'll get clients that are new to this and they're like something must be wrong with the program they're constantly telling me they need a deload and it's like well no I think if you're pursuing being really really strong there's basically a chronic amount of fatigue that you're just going to learn to live with and not hate and some people have a really hard time with that but you get key indicators for when you've passed that point of productivity um uh, I should be able to pop up out of a chair. Feeling my legs struggle with that, I was like, okay, well, that's a pretty strong sign. There's a more subtle ones that we all uh, are a little different we pick up on. But really fired up the, uh, the wind bike got here. I can get my conditioning back up, which should help with that kind of feeling of chronic fatigue. One of the best things we can do for low energy levels is just get in good shape. Uh, as shocking as that may be, here's me saying some shit. All right, not a strong day. Uh, not too surprised. We're gonna auto-regulate gonna do something fun to keep the auto regulation fun so I'm gonna take some kind of like novelty PR uh, I've done a bunch of low pause deadlift PRs that's one of the two heights I've trained I've talked about it uh, to work on different points of breakdown in my pull Did a bunch of low pause PRs I think the most I've done like a, I've done a double pause PR I have not done a high pause alone PR so maybe we'll just hit one of those as like a cool novelty thing so as I said there, just doing a little goal post moving to feel like I did something other than just uh, do a lighter, like a down week. I think people would get mad if I called it a deload week. So oh, it needs to be a 50% reduction in volume and a 50% reduction in intensity to constitute a deload. It's like, well, less than your standard working uh, kind of MRV is going to decay a bit of fatigue. Who's to say, who's the police for what constitutes a deload? But we'll call it a down week, a little bit easier week. All in all, super fucking fired up about having the wind bike. I, I can kind of break my conditioning into steady state, which uh, is kind of half of that aerobic base, or it's more than half if we look at the like total work done, uh, and then hit, which is a little bit more sport specific to strongman. Uh, ended up just hitting a 705 high pause. Not really hard, but not as easy as it should be. Uh, didn't really see a lot of value in pushing past that, though obviously I could. Moved on to 625, which was the scheduled weight for the down set. Took it for a pause at a five, which is for me is pretty good. Uh, take, doing a low pause takes quite a bit of load off the bar, and it also keeps me honest with positions. Decided to film a couple of the mobility things I do at the beginning. Got from a Sika video, they were doing like rolling out their quad with a barbell. And I find that getting the front of my hip moving allows the back of my hip to fire more effectively. Uh, when I feel like I'm restricted through my kind of quads and hip flexors, I don't feel like I can effectively use my glutes in my wedge uh, for my deadlift quite as well. So one of the things I do to get ready is I stretch out my quad a little bit or sometimes I'll roll it out. I thought the bar looked kind of interesting, so I copied that from them. And uh, front squats have been feeling like a, they've been feeling like shit. To be perfectly honest, not a big deal. The hip's still coming back. A little slower than what I expected, but uh, the back squats, the hip hasn't been messing with. The front squats, it has. Whatever, whatever. It's coming back, but uh, 340 for two belt with sets of eight is not good at all uh, for me. That should be about 405 uh, at this point in time in a regular training cycle. But that being said, I feel like I'm ripping weights off the floor. Not too much of a problem there. My lockout felt really strong on that 800, even though I got pulled out of position. Um, definitely a lot more things are working than aren't working. I feel very optimistic trying to not let this session uh, read into it too much. Singular sessions don't mean a whole lot. Two sessions, you really want to start paying attention. Three sessions is a trend where we might want to make uh, adjustments. I certainly am not going to have three bad sessions because uh, I'm going to hit something heavy next week. And uh, I'm confident in that.
That's about it. Short one this week. Forgot to film a bunch of my assistance work because I was hanging out with Max. Also, you guys are telling me, oh, Sam, do large slides. I'm not the one stopping us. I am always ready to go. I got the camera. I got everything all set up. That bitch Max has been, uh, he's been the reason. So go harass him. His Instagram, I usually put in the description if you want to go yell at him. Please yell at him more. Clearly it hasn't been enough because uh, he told me last Friday at 10 and then he was just nowhere to be seen. I love Max. I know these things are coming, but you guys got to get on him.